Two days after the deadly suicide bombing outside the Indian embassy, Afghan officials said they had proof Pakistan was involved. Now, almost a month later, US officials tell CNN they have indications, elements within Pakistan's powerful spy agency, the ISI, helped the Taliban plan the attack. More than 54 people were killed, including India's defense attaché. The allegations have drawn swift criticism from Pakistan. The United States has not shared any evidence with the Pakistani government of, about these allegations. And the Pakistani government is always willing to look at allegations about anyone. Uh, however, we believe that our intelligence services act responsibly. But U.S. officials say that's exactly what they have done before the attack sending a top CIA representative to Pakistan's capital Islamabad to present the evidence to senior Pakistani officials. Evidence that shows collusion extends beyond the July 7th attack. The ISI has a history supporting Mujahideen forces in Afghanistan in the 1980s with CIA funding helping overthrow the Soviet occupation. In the 1990s, backing the Taliban's takeover the new Pakistani government admits it's inherited a problem. There are many people in Pakistan, and some of them are retired military officers, intelligence officials, who continue to have ideological sympathy for that cause. When President Bush met Thursday with Pakistan's prime minister, there were smiles. But behind the scenes, there is intense frustration with the country that is supposed to be a key ally in the fight against terrorism. Taliban is growing stronger in Pakistan's lawless border region and killing more U.S. troops inside Afghanistan. And America is almost powerless to stop them because troops are not allowed into Pakistan. On a recent trip to Kabul, U.S. officials told me they are deeply concerned about the Taliban threat and want Pakistani help to defeat the Taliban. What was clear, I was told, is that the status quo, the Taliban digging in and striking with impunity from inside Pakistan, cannot be tolerated. Nick Robertson, CNN, London.